Welcome back, everybody. Okay, so this is a second part to plates. So I showed you in the last video how to start thinking about making some templates um, or templates, however you say it. So I want to show you how to make the same form I showed you in the previous video when you don't have foam, and then another way to make a plate by adding a foot. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so here's the template that we created in the previous video. So I just went ahead and traced it already with my needle tool. If you don't have a needle tool, you could use a toothpick to trace. And then I took my X-Acto and I just made some cuts from the outside of the slab to my traced line. Now I'm gonna to begin to cut this out. Now that we're finished cutting out the form, just like in the other video, you want to just wet your finger and apply some pressure all the way around your form. If you cut a little deeper with the blade on the crease in between the lobing, just go ahead and either take your needle tool or your toothpick and really work some clay into that area because you could get, there is potential that a crack would wanna work its way through into your form and you don't want that. Clean up this edge a little bit more after your plate has stiffened up a little as well. You can use your sponge too. Sometimes I don't like to use the sponge on groggy clay because it really brings out a bit more of the grog, wipes away the clay particles and really lets that grog come through. So flip and proceed to compress on the opposite side as well. Okay, so using the same plastic form that we used in the previous video, but without the foam, I am gonna cover my slab with saran wrap so the plastic is less likely to stick to the clay. I want this to be able to release. I am going to center this shape in the middle of my slab and then I'm going to carefully flip it over and I'm gonna double check that it didn't shift. And now I'm just gonna start to press the clay down around the plastic form. You do want your clay leather hard, but more of a soft leather hard. If it's too stiff, you could get some cracking here. I'm getting a little bit of cracking, but nothing too wild. If you have a soft rib that you could use to help compress that clay that will create less cracking. You could also use an old credit card or an old library card or a card from the grocery store or the art store if you don't have a rib. Some of them are really kind of nice soft flexible plastic, so you could try that. You could use your sponge. You could do a really kind of not aggressive bending, or you could really bend this closer to the plastic form if you wanted. That's up to you. Okay, flip this. Pull this away. And voila, we've got a plate tray shape. Okay, I'm gonna set this aside, it's pretty wet. 